Because I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, the devil's going to try to kill me along the way. He's going to. He's going to try to kill me. He's probably, he's probably going to try to kill all of us. But the devil cannot kill us. He can only try. And what does not kill us only makes us stronger. And that's when we have to understand that we got to keep our faith and trust in God no matter what. No matter what. It is sad. And it will make us mad for what the devil is doing. The, anti, the Antichrist is doing. Yeah, the Antichrist is already formed. And I want to show y'all a video of, of Obama. And I'm going to find it, uh, um, the end of the, hold on, uh, hold on, um, I got a Obama anti, yep, antichrist proof. Here's the real proof on, on, um, on, um, hold on, I got to uh, fast forward it to make sure I'm showing y'all the right video. And this is where y'all gonna understand even more. You're gonna be like, whoa. Like, things like this will blow your mind. This is talking about the beast, what the beast looks like, apparently. And, um, okay, well, this one's not the scientific. Well, this one actually is the proof. This is actually the proof, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find where Obama does it, where he throws up that sign. I gotta find it, y'all. Uh, so give me one sec. Senator Obama, after you so arrogantly mocked and ridiculed. Now watch this. I'm gonna let y'all hear this, and then while I try to find the video. He explained why he finds it so difficult for America to use the Bible. On June 28, 2006, Senator Barack Obama gave a speech to the Call to Renewal Conference, where he explained why he finds it so difficult for America to use the Bible to help guide our public policy. Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own defense department would survive its application. Folks haven't been reading the Bible. Senator Obama, after you so arrogantly mocked and ridiculed the books of Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and the Sermon on the Mount, taking those passages of the Bible so painfully out of context, you then condescendingly stated that, quote, folks haven't been reading their Bible, unquote, as if the American people don't know what's in there. The real question is, do you know what's in there, Senator? For instance, did you not know that most Christians and historians agree that the Sermon on the Mount contains the most spiritually inspiring words ever uttered by Jesus Christ or any other religious leader? And as far as your sarcastic remark regarding the Defense Department not being able to survive the Sermon on the Mount's application, I can assure you, Senator, that Christ would never advocate turning the other cheek to terrorists and America's enemies as your smug laughter so clearly implied. And did you not know, Senator Obama, that the book of Deuteronomy, which you also arrogantly mock and ridicule, is what gave us the Ten Commandments? Folks, all those condescending remarks distorting our Judeo-Christian Bible did not come out of the mouth of Barack Obama's pastor, Jeremiah Wright. No, they came straight out of the mouth of Barack Obama. Folks haven't been reading the Bible. Paid for by phforamerica.com. hear him make remarks that could be considered controversial while I sat in the church. Yes. I have not heard him make the offensive comments that ended up being looped on this show constantly. And I was offended by them and ultimately... You never heard those comments. I hadn't heard those he comments. He was selling them in the lobby at a church. What can I tell you? How many times they, did you go to church a month? You know, I'd probably go twice a month. And sometimes. he never said inflammatory he stuff? Didn't say, he didn't say stuff like that. All right? Did so, he say so, white people were bad? No. What never. he said was racism was bad. And but not white no people are bad. There, there was no, no doubt that what he said was racism was bad. One Anna posed a 
flawed strategy in Iraq, one man had the courage to call for change. One man didn't play politics with the truth. One man stands up to the special interests. Stand up. We're Americans. We're Americans and we'll never surrender. Vote John McCain. The real change. For real. But um, I'm going to show. Let me find the video where um, Obama does it too. Look at where Obama throws up that sign, which was actually in a video I couldn't find. Apparently, he, they must, Secret Service must have took it down. But um, the pictures still roam around on the Internet. There's the picture. There's videos somewhere, and I'm going to find those videos, and I'm going to expose him. And there's the Pope. Look how evil the Pope looks, though. I mean, just look at that. You can tell he worships Satan. I mean, just look at it. And I mean, Obama, people say Obama's not the Antichrist, get your facts right. But I actually researched all of that, and I've literally found out that it is, that he, that he is. And I mean, I mean, it's proven. I mean, it is proven, proven. And then the Pope does it, Jay-Z does it, Rihanna does it, Eminem done it, all those signs that, that leads back to the antichrist and it shows you what's really going on in the world i mean really it's evil it's wicked it's 